Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. Self the moment impressed. you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem, and this and that. Really? It's disastrous for a president to, even say to be he's unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy was it's a very, terrible. Like <laughs> terrible strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities, and quite frankly, Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news, and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. You are watching The Advocate on Plus TV Africa. Surely, demand and supply go hand in hand, innit? Power to the people, putting your naira where your needs are. I listened recently with engaged interest as a close family member narrated how they were now receiving so much light supply in their area, they live in Ikeja by the way, that they were tempted to say, it's a no fool. They gave this testimony after I commented on how serene it was at theirs upon a visit. It was striking that there was light and wonder of wonders, the familiar drone of generator noises as if in competition was remarkably absent. It almost felt like something was missing. Like a blind person who suddenly found his or her eyes opened unabated. This is according to one statement by a resident of Magudu in response to the 24-hour power supply that was their surreal experience starting August this year and documented in a Vanguard newspaper article titled Uninterrupted Power Supply, We Follow Due Process. Another resident who had lived in Magudu for 22 years said that this was undoubtedly the best thing that had happened to Magudu. Next level tins of a truth and do you blame them? If I hadn't experienced it myself, I would have struggled to believe it too. Apparently, Maryland and Ikeja were the next stage of this rollout. On the face of it, it makes perfect sense. Charge a higher tariff for electricity supply from 20 naira per kilowatt hour to 47 naira, but deliver and everyone smiles, except perhaps the generator suppliers at al. After all, the difference is indeed clear when you balance the books. Peace of mind, no deafening generator sounds, and possibly more money in the bank when you deduct the cost of diesel and generator repairs as against the higher upfront electricity bill. I know what I would choose. Bottom line, Nigerians are happy to pay for improved service and a better quality of life. Just deliver. Can I get a witness? Yeah. <laughs> but, and this is a very big but, what of the less affluent areas that can't afford electricity at a higher tariff? This is where ordinarily it would make business sense to do a Robin Hood, as I call it. Take from the gains garnered from the more affluent areas and plow it into the poorer areas by way of structural developments and subsidized costs of power for these areas. However, the reality may well diverge from the ordinary in that we may see oversubscription and underinvestment, as seems to be the case with our GSM networks, which would result in a drop in standards of supply while still charging the higher tariff, of course which is why we must hold them accountable in this boom period through NGOs such as Serap and other consumer watchdogs, including the media. We can ensure that the attractive prospect of power to the people doesn't end up leaving us all in the dark. The only area, only area is um, this taking from the rich in terms of power. <laughs> no, hood. It's like a tax of sorts. Not really, because here we waste electricity a lot. We waste uh, electricity. Certainly. So if you know that it's expensive, we all have generators, even in amongst the poor. But if you know that it's expensive, you won't leave the lights on. If you bought 200 naira worth of electricity, Precisely. you manage it. Mm. Yeah. So you don't just waste it. Yeah. And that, so that man that has air conditions running, running yeah. in all the rooms, he's definitely paying more. Mm. Yeah. And, and so, but the other man that just has a bulb in his or her room and one fan, you know, we put on the fan when he's not using it because he wants also to manage. Should I qualify it? Uh, what I'm looking at, take from which, is more about structural development. Because the people in, let's say, Ajigunli may not be able to afford 47 naira kilowatts tariff. But, but, but you can still charge them 20, so you subsidize no, the cost. They, have, they, have they pay less, what they can afford. But they have less consumption at the yeah, center yeah. in this area. Exactly. Sometimes, sometimes in the whole streets in Ajigunli, you might find that, that the consumption in the entire street is far less than the consumption in one house mm -hmm. in Lekki. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Yeah, also, you're making my point now. The no, rich so what are they're saying right. is that there's no reason. What he's there's saying is no, there's, there's no, no reason need. to reduce their no tariff to reduce because the tariff. their consumption doesn't equate with yes. with like in what, my office. Yeah, I run seven air conditions, spending. Mm. and I'm so. But the man, the small babbins shop, you know, in Ajegule, we have just one fan. Mm. And okay, okay. Let me. Let me. Let me. I understand what you're saying. You someone said, please go ahead. Let me. You see, the the capacity to pay is also important to structure it into the tariff in itself. Yeah. So if you have a neighborhood where the capacity is deemed low, you, you need to consider that when you're structuring it. And the, the current tariff structure addresses that, which is why even between commercial and residential, okay, that's the point. rates are different. Yeah. 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 You know, so anything that, that is like tariff or, or tax must take into consideration Your those little e e e exactly. Yeah. But you see, where my problem is with this is the fact that we don't have enough of this power. That's where I wanted to come. So in. there's a limit to how many Magodo models you can they plan. can create. Yeah, this is why I uh, wanted to I say in this boom period. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, just very quickly to say uh, because I, I spoke to a power expert, so to speak. And he said, look, they can only do this for so long because the, all they're doing is diverting electricity to the people yeah. who are ready to pay for it. Yeah. So if they do it and they have the sense to then take the gains and begin to plow it into, you know, developing greater capacity. Um, yeah, I mean, what, what we actually were told was that it's not even that we don't generate enough power distribution. is distribution it's okay. the infrastructure that we have yeah. so like for instance this model that happened in magodo has now been implemented in my estate and oh my god it's like a shock to the system mm. it's pretty much 24 hour light, light. no, tell you, no gen no nothing to the point that our fridges are freezing everything and now start turning Put it things down. off yeah. now that's <laughs> next level <body> <laughs> that's <laughs> really, you know to the point that i don't even know what to do with myself i'm just seeing like you know left right and center but um it's the infrastructure because before they implemented it they had to take down wires they had to put new poles they had to do and that was the reason and even with that we still have a few it, it might go down for a minute then it'll come back up so um i was shocked to even discover that we even produced that much electricity. I always thought it was from the production okay. that it started, but it's actually through the, the distribution, distribution that the problem is. But either way, you still have to remedy it. Yes, the, the transmission, sorry. Yeah. Then the other thing is what I also, because I had a chat with like um, a, 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 a driver, um, and he was saying to me, funnily enough, he lives in a part of Yaba, and funnily enough, they do get light at specific times. So they actually know when they're no, going to have no light. Shedding. Yes, and when they're not going to have light. So they're able to actually work Under. according mm -hmm. to that. Um, you mentioned the one about oh, the Robin Hood factor. Yeah. I think, to be honest, metering has covered that because once you yeah. put the meter there yeah. like on my neighbor next door with this extra light they have finished their <laughs> their, their units, their units. <laughs> and yeah so they're just chilling in the darkness for now <laughs> and you know every now and again they put the gen on because that's what they can afford you know the, so you, so you have to meet you work you only pay for what you can yeah afford. you only yeah, pay you for, for what you consume. can what yeah. you consume exactly so you i don't really think you consume. need to do no, but then a that's where, no because i think in, then there's still an unfair advantage no but no like those who can afford more I'll talk about commercial yes, and, and residential. residential. Yeah. Yeah. For the residential, for example, in um, let's say Ajegule, 47 naira per kilowatt. Mm. And then you, if you know that you bought 1,000 naira worth of electricity, mm. you cannot afford to sit down in the sitting room and be running the air conditioning. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like we do. Yeah. Yeah. So Even anyway, we don't never run will give me like an estimated bill. Yeah. Mm. But if you know that it is running, the bills are running, you'll stop. You'll stop. Yeah. Mm. You can even switch it off from the changeover oh, okay. and just chill out in the darkness. Yeah, for yeah, but, yeah. But, you know, but you know, you're all talking about Lagos. There are places in Nigeria with absolutely no electricity. Yeah, no agree. connection yeah. to yeah, the no, You're absolutely right. Yeah. 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 So this is where I'm hoping but that the games will be put. Uh, unfortunately, is the fact that we always have this when the waters in the dam are up. Because the hydro now generates more. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we have a generation transmission uh, issue. Yeah, but my, my stress anyway on this case <laughs> is that this is the time to intervene because normally we act as if we're people caught on a back foot. We know now that people are taking advantage yeah. of this new system. Money is being made. Let's keep them on there, you know, make them accountable True. to us. Mm. Okay. An abuse system is nurtured because of the absence of checks and balances. After the break, Bolaho brings some balance to the topic of, you guessed it, rice. <laughs> 